This project is about enabling human computer interaction on the edge. As you know, public IOs are very common in our daily life now. Be it ATMs, self checking kiosk in airports, information kiosks at public places, registration kiosk, and the like. But to control them, we need to touch them. Can we control these public devices without touching them using gestures or maybe sound? That is the question that we are trying to address in this project. Here, we use a sequence of AI models optimized by Intel OpenVINO and combine it with numerical models to trigger various actions by detecting eye wings, calculating the mouth aspect to detect the smile and various other gestures to trigger different events. So that is a problem that we are trying to address here. Let's take a first look at the project as to how we can give gestures and control the device. Now she's yawning and an event click left is triggered. Now she is looking up which incremented the control mode to gaze control. That means that mouse pointer is moving based on the gaze. Again clicking left. So these are controls based on actions. We can control it using head or sound which will be coming up later in the video. Now she is smiling. Smile event was detected. We can associate a action for smiling as well. Now she is moving the mouse. She is click, trying to click left. It's actually clicking on the picture. That is why you are not able to see. Now she is moving it to a corner and clicking. This is the architecture diagram of the project. The components on the parent process is on the left and the middle and the components in the parallel thread is on the right. So uh, in the middle you can see the input. The input is a video uh, feed from the webcam which is fed into a uh, AI model to detect the phase which will be pre-processed and the output is fed into a phase landmark detection model and a head process estimation model. The phase landmark will output 35 facial landmarks which will be post-processed and fed into I-Wing detection and MAR compute. These two are numerical models which will detect the events and will feed into the controller. Here in head pose it will output your pitch roll which is converted to Cartesian coordinate using a mathematical formula which I am going to explain right after. And that would be fed into gaze estimation model along with a cropped left and eye image. These two combined, actually these three combined will produce the gaze vector which will be taken as input by the controller to control the mouse. In parallel, the thread uh, will continuously listen for vocal input and it will be deciphered by the thread as to which command is being spoken. It can be a, a directional command for the mouse or it can be a type command for the parent process to type. So the, the, that command will be fed into the controller in control mode 3. So facial model and head pose model are running in control mode 1 and 2 and the sound model that is uh, the parallel thread it is running in control mode 3. So this is the high level architecture of the project. There are four control modes in the system. In control mode 0 there is no control. In control mode 1 gaze is taken as the control input and in control mode 2 head pose the attitude of the head is taken as the input and in control mode 3 sound is taken as the input. To switch between these control modes we can use gestures to increment or decrement the control mode. And in calibration step, it's a one-time process. The, we will ask the user to look at the opposite corners of the screen so that the gaze vector can be mapped to the size of the screen. And this is the pipeline, the gesture detection pipeline that we use. Inside the pipeline, we run four AI model. The first one is for uh, face location and the detected face is fed into head pose uh, a model and the facial landmark model which will be combined in the gaze angle which I just explained about. Uh, different models are used, all are uh, Intel Vino pre-trained models uh, which are pre-processed and uh, post-processed accordingly. Here you can see the head pose uh, visualization. The your pitch roll output from the head pose model is visualized after conversion to Cartesian coordinates. You can see the three axis coordinate system here and uh, the facial landmark will give something like this. There are around 35 landmarks which are being detected and we will use the location of these points to identify gesture, gesture actions, be it MAR, be it eye wink, 
and uh, you can detect as many I mean multiple gestures as you like so uh, this is combined in you numerically using a gaze, uh, gaze estimation model which will take both the eye and also the head pose orientation as the input to detect the gaze vector which is visualized by the green vector here there is an intricate step involved in Euler angle to rotation matrix conversion wherein the head pose estimation model will output the your pitch roll angle which is represented by a rotation matrix the yo is represented by this matrix and pitch is represented by this matrix so to compute uh, at the location of a point uh, in 3d system we need to multiply these three matrices and this is the matrix that we get after multiplying the rotation matrices so this uh, equation is coded in the system to convert the yo pitch roll angle output from the head pose a model to the cartesian coordinate system next is to detect i wings so in order to detect i wing and map it to different gestures we need to detect the opening and closing of an eye event right so to detect an eye if you think logically we just need to count the number of white pixels in the eye region if there is a sudden hike in the white pixel then the eye is opening and if it is uh, a sudden dip then the eye is closing so we can just use a threshold to identify this but this is not a very reliable way to identify because of lighting conditions and uh, various other conditions so we need to use a bit more intricate method to identify this event so what I'm doing is I'm calculating a uh, histogram which will plot the frequency of pixel in 256 bins and then uh, we will compute the spread of non-zero pixels because when you open an eye then the number of uh, white pixels will suddenly increase along with the uh, black pixels so the spread of the uh, number of non-zero pixel will suddenly increase when the eyes are open and it will suddenly decrease when the eyes are closed so the spread is taken as the metric that is plotted on the y-axis so uh, we, we need to analyze this uh, non-zero pixel histogram to find out an opening or closing event right so uh, for that what I'm doing is I'm trying to fit a sigmoid curve on the tail end of the uh, signal this is a signal you can see uh, the left and the right eye green is the left and the red one is the right eye so you can see that the green has taken a sudden dip that means the left eye is winked we need to detect this event so this shape is what we need to detect so uh, that is why I am using inverse sigmoid curve at the tail end of the signal I am trying to fit this curve at the tail end of the signal if the curve is successfully fit then I detect it as a wing event otherwise not why I am doing it so here you can see the shape of a sigmoid function it is almost like a S shape which is represented by 1 by 1 plus e raised to minus z this is a sigmoid function corresponding to this curve so uh, in our case this is inverse sigmoid right it's a inverse s shape that is why i am taking a reflection of this curve using f of minus x a reflection uh, along the x axis so f of minus x is 1 by 1 plus e raised to z which is plotted like this it's almost similar to the curve that i am looking for corresponding to a i event so I'm trying to fit a inverse sigmoid on this signal so here you can see both my eyes are open both red and the green curves are flat but now it's a it, I have detected a curve because the right eye was closed okay, we will see again now the curve both the curves are flat because both the eyes are open green and red now green has taken a sudden dip because my left eye is uh, closed so now I, I will detect this shape see it is detected this detection is using the inverse sigmoid curve fitting algorithm so we will see it once more left and uh, right eyes are open the curves are almost flat there is no significant inverse sigmoid curve now my right eye is closed the it is detected as a curve so this is how the non-linear least square problem is uh, used to solve the wink event detection and uh, it's it's a bit expensive uh, computation so in order to reduce the computation we can also use statistical analysis on that curve just find a median and a threshold of the tail strip and uh, analyze uh, those values to find if the curve ma almost match with the reverse edge shape you can also do that but uh, there can be false positive in this method a curve fitting algorithm is definitely the best way to go about but uh, I mean if you are really running it on the edge and if you want to reduce computation a lot then you can go by this method also so mouse aspect ratio is a, a concept which is derived from EAR I aspect ratio which is uh, defined in a uh, research paper it's defined uh, according to this formula uh, we have around six 
points corresponding to a i uh, and we use these points to compute whether the eye is closed or open so this paper uses this method uh, but we haven't used this method to compute eye blink because we don't have this dense landmark we in, in our a model the eye model we get only uh, two points corresponding to an eye in the facial landmark model uh, so this formula can't be used so that is why i'm using a curve fitting algorithm as above but we can you we can extend this uh, formula for mouth detection mar mouth aspect ratio can be computed using this method i'm i, I have just written this formula uh, based on common sense i'm just uh, co computing the difference between the x axis of 0.9 and 0.8 which is the width divided by the height that is the uh, difference in y between 0.11 and 10 so this ratio will give me information of the sh shape of the mouth so if you think about if a person smile then this mouth aspect ratio will suddenly decrease and when a person yawns the mouth aspect ratio will suddenly increase so these two can be uh, uh, identified as two different events the yawn event and the smile event and it can be mapped to different actions now let's see the project in action the gaze control and the head pose control along with the gestures I'm initiating the project. So first of all, I need to calibrate. We need to look top right and bottom left to calibrate the gaze angles. Now I can do various gestures. Now, now I'm smiling. The image is detected. I'm opening the mouth and the even click left event is detected. Can be used to do a mouse left click. I'm looking up that is associated to a click right, it was detected, the smile is detected. So different gestures are given and it is being detected, which can be associated to different uh, actions, right? So I'm winking here to increment the control mode to gaze control. Now the control mode is activated. So gaze in gaze control, the mouse pointer is controlled by the gaze. I opened the mail with a yawn gesture. So now I am in case control mode, control mode 1. I am moving the mouse here and there using I. I clicked left using the yawn gesture. And uh, now I will take a kiosk mode. Uh, so let's imagine it's a kiosk uh, of a food court. There are many restaurants in a food court. And uh, you are there to order from a particular restaurant. So you, you can uh, check out different uh, restaurants and you can select one and then you can select a dish and uh, order the dish as you like so now it is in head pose mode so i am using my head orientation not the gaze to control the mouse i have selected one restaurant now i am using my head orientation to select one among the left options so i checked uh, i clicked dinner specials it seems like it's not available because of the timing i think we are too early so I will just check out lens specials or recommended uh, options. I am trying to do it with my head. Uh, I will just add something from the recommended list. And I will I will just check out. So this is the uh, head pose control mode. So the next control mode, sound control, sound based control, will be shown later in the video. So here, yeah, delivery address is also there because it may not be applicable for a food court but uh, for Suki it may be required so I'm, I have just used head pose and uh, yawn gesture to select a delivery address uh, I'll try to change just for the sake of demonstration uh, I'm selecting another delivery address the second one I'm trying to use my head yeah I have selected so I'm using a different thread to process sounds uh, in this thread, I am uh, listening to the mic and whatever user is saying, I am trying to decipher it and try to map with the commands that we have. Whatever deciphered commands are there, I will put it into a queue data structure. And this queue data structure is used as a communication mechanism between the child process, I mean the child thread and the parent process. So speech recognition can be used to give commands and also to transcribe the audio. I mean, if, if you want to write something on the screen, you can use... Uh, 
the system to write alphabets or you can use to write numbers as well for example the PNR number the gesture controls can be mapped uh, this is not important because you can give any kind of mapping I'm using my uh, Pi Auto li GUI library for the uh, mouse navigation various functions in that then I'm using something called stickiness feature wherein I will ignore all those events which are less important as in uh, the head will always move the eyeball will always move but a small movement uh, can be ignored otherwise the mouse will become jittery and for the optimization I'm using Intel open window profiler this will find out the hotspots in the code and you can optimize the code uh, based on the output of the VTone profiler I'm using that for the optimization now let me demonstrate the sound based control and the typing the sound based control is finer than the head pose control now the system is in head pose I'm trying to move the mouse with my head so this is a flight uh, inquiry kiosk I'm selecting tomorrow's flight I'm searching for it I'm using head to move the mouse now clicking using a yawn gesture and now I will try to switch over to sound uh, mode so that I can show you how you can have the final control for the typing as well so I'm looking up to change the control mode to sound left left up 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 one one seven five right 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 so this project demonstrate the power of open window to handle multiple hardware optimized models in sequence and also in parallel there can be multiple use cases that we can solve but the point that I want to make is that there's a possibility to chain multiple hardware optimized models and it can be coupled with very efficient numerical solutions to solve different use cases